Thank you. Nice to be here. You, we want to talk about tummy tucks today, and I guess the logical question is, what is the tuck in the tummy tuck? The tuck is usually getting rid of both extra skin and looseness in the muscle. So we're actually tucking two things. Okay. So now this is not a, 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 to be taken lightly. This is ser this it's is real surgery. surgery. Yep. And you're under a general it's anesthetic. Under general anesthesia that helps with the muscle repair. Okay. So we can relax the muscle more under a general anesthetic than under a local anesthetic. So walk me through it a little bit. I mean, wh wh who needs this sort of thing? Uh, obviously, you know, mm -hmm. women who've had a lot of kids, it stretches the muscles out childbirth, and the skin. Childbirth. Childbirth certainly is one situation where we get laxity or looseness in both the muscle and the skin since the child's inside it's pushing out and stretching those areas uh, massive weight loss is another area where we end up doing tummy tucks for the same reasons uh, both for men and for women now wh why doesn't simple exercise solve the problem exercise is important and it's actually an adjunct to what I do what I'm doing is getting rid of the extra skin that just doesn't shrink doesn't go away and tightening the case around the muscle so even though the muscles can be very very strong there's a case around the muscle that ends up as a tendon in each end and if that's too long then the guts push out no matter how strong the muscle is unless you're always contracting which we can't do all the time so with say childbirth and I, again I said you know if you have many kids I mean it can happen sure. with just one it can but it, it stretches a muscle beyond its ability to, to natural to ability recoil. to spring back yeah that case around the muscle is very tough stuff so it's hard to get it to stretch but over the course of nine months it can stretch some and what I'm doing is sort of tucking that back in I don't cut the muscle I'm not injuring the muscle but I'm tightening it up and making sort of like a corset inside so that the foundation is flat so everything over it can be flat too we, we talked a little bit earlier and I, I went to YouTube but I I actually saw the I, I saw the surgery uh, and and your point is well taken I mean where, where you're actually not severing the the, the abdominal muscle you're Certainly. you're kind of folding it in and we're folding it, it sort of side to side so we bring the two sides together and tighten it in that direction. With the skin, we're making an incision low and bringing the skin down to tighten it, sort of an up and down direction. So you get to tighten in two directions. Now, I did see some pretty extreme cases mm -hmm. where you know it was large volumes of skin and muscle that were completely lax, and mm -hmm. and it was sure. Was and you can tighten it pretty washboard. well. Washboard. Yeah. The the thing that really helps determine the outcome is not just how much is being removed but how that skin that remains behaves and if there's good elasticity in that skin and I can tighten it and it'll keep that shape. Now why is it that some people can get away with weight loss and gain and, and they seem to spring back? Is this a genetic predisposition? Yeah, we're, all, you... we're all different, yeah. So some people when they lose the weight the skin just tightens up. It tends to be more common in younger folks. The older we get, the less we tend to recoil. Uh, also tends to be common if someone had, has had one child as opposed to two, the second one seems to be a little harder. So, so it can be a function of age? or It or, can be. Okay. Um, so walk me through, and you know, we're already getting the phone calls. We, we have a second here, but just sure. who is a good candidate and, and, and who is not a good candidate for this type well, of surgery? First and for, foremost, you want someone who's in good health. So good health means either no medical problems or medical problems that are well controlled. Uh, so for most folks that I'm operating, there tend to be younger people who've had children. Uh, if they've gone through the stress of childbirth, they're probably going to be okay with the anesthesia. Uh, the other thing we look for is things I can fix. So I look to see if the muscle is loose, to see if the skin is loose, and that there isn't so much fat on the inside. So if someone's still quite overweight and the fat is behind the muscle, I can't get to that and I can't repair it. I can't tighten it enough. Now we need to go to break, but I would imagine you probably combine this with uh, liposuction or, or is that Very commonly. something that... You know, yeah, liposuction, usually around the flanks, it can help me reduce the size of the scar and certainly complements the procedure. Okay, we're going to continue our discussion. We have phone calls already coming in. We're going to need to take a quick break. Okay. Uh, but for more information about Dr. Mealy, you can call 925-943-6353 or you can uh, check him out on the web at drmealy.com. Let's look at some of the pictures that uh, you brought in. So let's go Okay. roll the first one here and describe to me what we're looking at. Uh, so someone just had a tummy tuck and this is somebody who really wasn't overweight, uh, just had a lot of laxity in the muscle and some loose skin that sort of gave a very creepy appearance to the skin. Mm -hmm. uh, nice and tightened up. Let's roll with the other one. And uh, it's another patient. Uh, you can see a previous scar from uh, uh, surgery down low there and also had just loose skin and if you look at the muscles we're talking about tightening the muscles right. you can see the outside of the muscle you know outside on the lateral part um uh, before is farther apart than afterwards. Okay. So we're able to bring those muscles together. And, and we should mention, because there is an incision in the, I guess in the pubic area, it's covered here, but you, you yes. will have that incision. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's underneath the uh, underwear there. 
and usually that will heal or, or it heals very well yeah. uh, it takes time of course it takes uh, about a year for a scar to be completely mature okay and then our third uh, this picture is our third patient to again extra skin in the lower part of the abdomen and this is something that exercise just isn't going to get away get get rid of uh, there's extra skin there's some fat still underneath there but not very much uh, and the main thing is just laxity and looseness. Okay. So there's an incision low and there's also one around the belly button. You can see that again here. There's a little incision up inside the belly button. Because the belly button, it's the same one. We right. don't actually take it off. We leave it there. It, we pull the skin over it, kind of like a shade on a window, and then make an incision, bring it back through. Uh-huh. How convenient. It yeah. is. And, and this you see, last she had a lot of extra skin down underneath. She had lost over 100 pounds on her own. So a lot of what we're looking at there is just skin that's just redundant loose skin. and wouldn't shrink. You know what? It looks like uh, from some of our phone calls here, we have questions pertaining to that. Good morning, Jim. You have a quick question for the doctor. This is Kim from Indonesia. Oh, hi, Kim. Sorry. Hi. I'm 41 years old. Yeah. I've had four children, and two, three of which I had as... <laughs> Three of which I had cesareans, one I had natural, uh -huh. and I had appendicitis in between that. Oh, wow. I have a lower under my belly, I, belly button, I have a flap that I can't seem to get rid of. <laughs> Yes, if it's confined to just under the belly button, then sometimes a mini tummy tuck is all you need. If it's loose above the belly button, then a formal tummy tuck helps better. And congratulations on four children. All right, thank you very much, Kim. Sorry for uh, mispronouncing it. Uh, uh, I, I, I think we're going to hold off on the other calls until uh, we go to break here. But, okay. but that is one of the main questions that, that Kim was posing about, you know, having four children and then she had an appendectomy on top of that would yes. that also undermine any kind of other surgeries does that kind of weaken the muscles it can uh, appendectomy not as much as some others because with an appendectomy you sort of push the muscles apart rather than cutting them uh, but certainly the vertical incisions that are made for other surgeries the fan and steel incisions the low incisions made for c-sections can weaken the muscle and it's something that can be repaired Okay, we're going to take more of the calls, uh, but for more information about Dr. Mealy, you can certainly call him at 925-943-6353 or check him out on the web at drmealy.com.